Here with NSU coach Mike McConaughey, coach 87-77 win against New Orleans tonight. Start me off with the free throws. UNO loves to get to the free throw line, and uh, you were able to keep them off of the free throw line pretty well while getting to the line a lot yourself. Today. Yeah, we were able to get 26 free throws. If you add the last two times we played them together, you still don't get to 26. You don't even get to 20. So us able to get to the line was a big deal. I was real proud of them, but we got to it with our guards getting fouls versus where Kendall didn't ever get to the line today at all. Uh, you know, Larry Owens, I don't, he got, did he get there a couple, once? A couple, couple times. times. But the play of guys outside of the normal guys of, of Robert Ugas, who's not going to stand out good, a Yoban Zelenbaba, a Jalen King, a, a, a Zarabi. Larry Owens, who has had some great games along the way, but stepped up with a big, big game today. You know, did a, did a monster job. Brian White with 23 points, not monster, eight for 10. LaTerrence Reed with 15 points, eight for 10 from the free throw line. So those things are all, I'm sure, I left somebody out. But, uh, you know, we it was a team win. I felt like the guys did what we had. Sean, Sean Riley had a huge bucket yeah. in the first yeah. half, made an unbelievable pick that nobody would have seen, seen that got Brian a, uh, a bucket so just real proud of the guys because they competed so hard it was the tenacity the want to that i've got to get it done mentality that demon basketball is what we've always been about and that's been missing but i'm so proud of the guys and we just need to continue to, to improve and get better we're not going to regret anything because today we came and laid everything out on the floor as long as you lay everything out on the floor there's no regrets what was, what was the key to this team bouncing back from Thursday's game against Nichols? Uh, you know, one thing we did is they bought into the game plan that we talked about, and uh, that game plan was we were going to run the zone and we were going to run it, and they they believed in me and our staff that that's what we needed to do, and uh, I just felt like that made a lot of difference. I also think that we made some adjustments that gave us some 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 buckets of Robert Ugas stepping out and hitting the three. Yeah. That He only made one shot, yeah. but that three was monster. Of course, he missed a tip in on the right side earlier, but uh, early in the game, but a huge, huge play because when Robert does something good, everybody on the bench just gets ecstatic because everybody loves Robert. But I think that just uh, playing together and pulling together and becoming connected. Um, in that zone defense, sometimes you can get out-rebounded. You out-rebounded UNO tonight. How important was it to, to do that in that zone? Well, I just think that it was a matter of that's what we looked at. The last time we played them, they out-rebounded us. And, you know, we got really out-rebounded by seven by Nichols, and we had to do a better job. And we've been talking about that, that we've got to do a better job on the boards. Because we can and we're capable. Okay? But we just can't expect Kendall to go get every rebound. He got nine. Okay, as usual, I think Larry had had the same number. I'm not sure, but just uh, you know, Kendall does a great job, and you know, I mean, he got in foul trouble, so he didn't play but 24 minutes. But somebody stepped up, and we did it with a bunch of different people, so that was good. Coach Mike McConaughey, thank you very much. Thank you.